So many fearful avoidants often consider themselves to be very good at setting boundaries. I know once upon a time when I was a fearful avoidant attachment style, I thought the same way. But I have to ask you a really important question. Are you really good at setting boundaries when you are angry? Or are you really good at setting boundaries in general? See, I know from my personal experience when I was a fearful avoidant that I would hold things in and not set boundaries, not set boundaries, and then finally set them from this really strong place of anger. And what I realized after the fact, and you know, part of my healing and growth journey was like, that's not being good at setting boundaries. If you have to set boundaries from a place of anger, there were probably countless times you first didn't set boundaries along the way that led up to all the anger and frustration and resentment at this point. And so I really want to highlight a few crucial things in terms of why you might struggle with boundaries and not realize, and also what you can do as a fearful avoidant. Point number one is that there is a massive difference between being healthily assertive versus setting boundaries from a place of anger and frustration. On one hand, when you set boundaries from anger, people usually don't hear you. They hear your defensiveness or your anger, and they are so busy reacting to that that they don't really hear and listen to the words that you are presently saying or the boundary that you are trying to communicate. So it often falls on deaf ears. The other part is that when you look at this, so this is point number two, when you look at the point that you got to anger, there were probably so many times where you didn't say your true nose, let somebody know how you were really feeling. So you felt consistently unseen and unheard for long enough that it built up and then erupted. And so this means that you probably struggle with assertiveness as a whole. And these polarities of being people pleasing and in this fawning mode, to then become really frustrated and then express anger. Those polarities mean that you have to do the inner work and healing within the relationship to yourself to feel comfortable setting boundaries, comfortable speaking up in all of the little tiny events throughout the day or throughout the week that will help you feel empowered on your journey. So there are many times that maybe somebody asks you to do something that you don't want to do or share something with you and then expect something in return, you know, and, and you may find yourself being more attuned to what their emotions are and what their experience is at the expense of yourself and your own feelings and your own experience. And I've had so many conversations with fearful avoidance over the years who say things to me like, oh, I didn't even know that I was upset until an hour after I had left the situation, or I didn't know that I was angry until all of this time had passed. So if that sounds like you, it, it also means that you're not really in your body and connected to your own emotions and fully associated with yourself in real time, which is leading to you being more attuned to others at the expense of yourself and then not really knowing how you felt until way after the fact. So it's really important that you get clear and get in your body. The other thing is that a lot of fearful avoidance have limiting beliefs around boundaries. So they may think that, oh, if I set a boundary, I will be unsafe or it will cause a conflict or we'll have all these different issues. And the last major component that you need to know, um, well, actually, I'll tell you one thing quick first, which is that um, if you want to do a really deep dive into boundaries and recondition your relationship to boundaries, do exposure work around boundaries, get really clear about all the different boundaries that exist, whether it's time boundaries, mental boundaries, emotional boundaries, material boundaries, financial boundaries, sexual boundaries, physical boundaries, like there are so many types of boundaries, but um, if you want to do a deep dive and then do reprogramming work, um, we have a boundaries course you can check out for free for seven days that will give you literally everything and anything you could ever need to know about boundaries so you can become really masterful at it. And the course is only an hour and a half long, so we'll give you everything you need within that period of time to see such a profound change in regards to boundaries and even codependency. So you can use the link for free below. Um, but the last bigger thing is that often fearful avoidance don't have boundary literacy. Like you didn't see healthy boundaries growing up. Your boundaries were infringed upon. Your parents and caregivers' boundaries were... Um, um, non-existent a lot of the time. There's often a lot of enmeshment in fearful avoidant households and codependent patterns and covert contracts. Like I'll give to you so that you can give back to me later and you'll owe me rather than like having healthy boundaries and just openly communicating our needs between each other. And so if you find yourself struggling in a lot of these different ways, 
Sometimes because you don't know what your time boundaries are. Sometimes you don't even know what that concept means, or you don't know what emotional boundaries really mean and how to set them and how to feel into what an emotional boundary looks like. Or you may find yourself not really realizing that people should have healthy material or financial boundaries, even with people close to them, it's important. And so, you know, a, a boundary we sometimes fear as well as being this like disconnecting feature, like, oh, if we have a boundary, we're pushing each other away. But it's really the opposite because your boundary is your expression of your truth, your true yeses and your true noes. When we are people pleasing or we're afraid to share our truth, we're wearing a mask. We're connecting inauthentically and it actually creates this invisible wall between ourselves and somebody else. So these are some major reasons that fearful avoidance may struggle with boundaries. And if you are struggling with this and you do see these things, please know it is not your fault. And Yet it is your responsibility. You probably got these boundaries conditioned away from you, but only you can really put in that work to change that. And by changing your boundaries and having healthy boundaries, you'll get less burned out. You'll feel less re resentful. You'll feel more seen and known by the people in your, your life that are close to you. You'll be better able to be taken into consideration. Trust will improve in relationships because you're actually sharing your truth and people are hearing you and considering you accordingly. Um, and, you know, one of the most important things is you'll feel safe in your own skin. You'll feel like you're being authentically known by people in your life and you'll trust yourself to have your own back and show up and protect yourself and look out for your needs and interests, which a lot of the time is something fearful avoidance historically were missing from other people in their life and in their childhood. So you're reparenting that by getting good at setting boundaries. So I have some exciting news, which is that we are doing a thousand dollars off of our lifetime membership sale to the personal development school, which means you get access to literally everything at PDS for your entire rest of your life. Essentially that entails all of our different courses. You have lifetime access to, I do four live webinars a week, every single week. You can access them ongoing and you get access to all of our daily community events. So I'd love to see you on the other side and you can access it by using the link in the description box below. So these are really important dynamics to pay attention to. Um, I hope this makes a lot of sense if you are a fearful avoidant. If you want to do a much deeper dive, please check out that course for free. Um, you'll be able to for sure get through it within that seven day period. And if you enjoyed this video or are enjoying this channel, please subscribe. Um, I put daily videos out just for you. So hit the notification bell. You won't miss any. And that means I will see you in tomorrow's video.